messages from my people. Strangers, cover your ears. How the fuck are we supposed to take Colorado Springs if you can't handle a band of waste trash? I'm fucking disappointed. I really am. I'm in a finger-taking mood, guys. Gwendolyn Reed. She's head of the Reed family, and my ex-boyfriend's mother. She's terrible. To everyone. You're not one of Victory's thugs. They at least look dangerous. Ah. You're the rangers that Saul Buchanan sent for. Months ago, if I recall. Where are my daughters? Are they safe? I don't recall asking for excuses. I asked if my daughters are safe. Unbelievable. You think saving one is enough to mask your incompetence? The Patriarch will hear about this. Saul's infantile son told me to sit here without moving or he'd kill my daughters. But you rendered my efforts meaningless. We'll be speaking again, Rangers. Count on it. I will have words with Saul Buchanan about the punctuality of his servants. Make no mistake. Now go take care of his infantile son. If you can even manage that. What are you doing? We'll get you out of this, Mrs. Reed. I promise. As if your word means a stone nickel to me, Lucia Wesson. Mrs. Reed didn't approve of Isaac and me. As if I wasn't good enough for her coward of a son. My younger brother. Victory Buchanan found it amusing to saw off my brother's head in front of me. He left the corpse to keep me company. And also, as he put it, in case I got very hungry. This is a mistake! You had no right to throw him in your filthy gulag, and I'll have him out as soon as I'm free. I have been sitting here motionless for days, you witless buffoons. Answering his questions, and denying any association with his lawless sister Liberty, who he is convinced is plotting his downfall. As if he needed any help. It is some petty revenge for a well-deserved slight I paid him at some dinner or another years ago. What a small man. I embarrassed him by asking him a simple question he had no answer to, then told him he didn't deserve a place at the table. This, I suppose, is his little joke. Useless.
I'm protected!
by the second. Rangers, let's not waste time talking. We should put this monster down. Play it safe, Rangers. We want him alive. Yeah, come on in. Let's have some fun, huh? <sighs> Look who it is, Clarence. Daddy's Rangers. <laughs> In the flesh. Did you hear did you hear what happened to my little brother? Oh, <laughs> fucking hilarious. I know it was hard to get here, and no offense, but you can fuck right off back to Colorado Springs and tell Daddy you failed. I like it here. You know, my friend Clarence here. What? You don't see him? Oh, shit. Am I seeing things again? Hold on. No, 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 no. You're, you're here, Clarence. Oof. Oh, gave me a scare there, chicken shits. <laughs> now, get the fuck out of here. You calling me names? Oh, in front of my best friend? <sighs> Gotta be honest with you, Rangers. You're not making the best first impression on us. <laughs> so why should we listen to you? Huh? Well, I'll have to give them a little pep talk about loyalty. Or take a shit in their oxygen tanks, I'm decided. But I'm not worried, as long as I got my buddy Clarence here. Ah, it's just me then, huh? Fine. You got me, Rangers. Now what? Oh, that it? Sure thing, officers. Oh, but hold on. Before you slap the cuffs on, I have a... Hmm, what's the word? A proposition for you. Don't lock me up. Take me with you, and I'll give you the VIP tour of Daddy's Kingdom. Everyone here knows me. Everyone's fucking terrified of me. And that means they'll be terrified of you. Understand. To 
do as I say, and you can stay in the dream forever. Obey, dream giver. Always. That's right. Just keep breathing. I leave the rest to me. Nah, they're good. That asshole's dead and we're not, so let's get out of here. Good to see you getting shit done, November. Our radio HQ will get them to send us some transport. See you there. Yeah, ditto. You're all right. Before you head out, I have something to ask you. If I go back to Ranger HQ now, I'll probably end up in a room doing lab work. To be honest, I'm kind of tired of research. I'd rather take my chances out there with you. There are some things you just can't learn in the lab, you know? So, can I join your squad? No worries. I understand.